Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and a lot of you requested that I take my wife's Land Cruiser up the same trail that I took the Grenadier and the Wrangler, and so here we are. We've got our Land Cruiser, and we're going to see how it performs. Well, let's start with the first uh, hill. This is not difficult at all. This is basically just a dirt road. It's obviously a little bit of a climb, um, but it is basically a dirt road. Why did the camera go away so fast? is obnoxious yeah i guess you can't go more than like two miles an hour without the camera disappearing so that is one downside i guess about this system but i don't need it anyways i'm pretty familiar with this so what i'll say is um tire pressure not super low we're in the low 30s if i really wanted a lot of grip and a comfortable ride then i'd go into the high teens with the tire pressure. But one downside about the 200 series and just off-road Toyotas in general is that they don't have a lot of ground clearance. Like this in the Heritage configuration, we're looking at probably about, I think like nine inches of ground clearance. So it's technically enough for off-road purposes, but it's not massive. And so if you air down the tires, you lose even more of that clearance. Now, what I will say is the suspension is pretty darn comfortable. The thing that's absolutely amazing is just how smooth this is in terms of the traction. Um, I've just, I've got the, again, four wheel drive low, center diff locked, and I've got it in the rock and dirt mode because we've got rock and we've got dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty accurate and yeah there's no slipping at all zero zero slipping with the tires and let's make sure there's nobody else uh, zero slipping with the tires and it just goes it is quite and like that for example some cars like they'll slip a little bit but this no no problem whatsoever and because this has uh, eight speeds, it can do this, you know, middle speed stuff still in four wheel drive low. You don't have to go into high. Some uh, cars like the 4Runner would be a good example. That only has a five speed. So I'm not saying you'd have to go in four wheel drive high in that, but there's a lot of situations where that ends up being the case because the gearing just doesn't allow you like this we're hovering below 2000 rpms and we're going almost, almost 20 miles an hour and again this is middle speed but still the suspension it's handling it quite well so this next part of the trail will determine how far i go up with the trail and sorry about the gopro view here i gotta make sure i get on the right part of the uh, bridge here don't want <laughs> don't want to end up in the canal that would be a really awkward uh, call to the local municipality. Hey, I uh, drove my wife's car into your irrigation canal. <laughs> that's actually the, honestly, that's always the scariest part of the trail. It's not that it's difficult. It's just like, it's it's a little, it's a little concrete bridge. It's like, is it gonna hold? And then the other question is, am I, am, did, I did I line up the vehicle properly? Gosh, this is really smooth. The one thing about Toyotas though to note when you're off-road, this is what I've noticed with the 4Runners too, fourth gear. Um, you do have ECT power and ECT second, which actually, I'll put uh, second start in. Uh, now that's supposed to help out. And by the way, this is, I've mentioned this before, this is why you get paint protection film. <laughs> so you don't have to stress about the trees brushing up against the car. So I will say it's quite impressive. I don't know exactly how steep this is, but it's it's moderate. It is moderate. One thing I am concerned about though is that ground clearance. And I think that's why people pretty much have to do aftermarket front and rear bumpers on these 
and usually lift them if they want to do a lot of off-roading with them it's like the four-wheel drive system will take the land cruiser places that the ground clearance cannot now i will say it's not making a, is it in second gear now it's in fourth it's not making a fuss out of anything like it is oof Doing, did I already scrape? If I scrape there, then there's no, I'm sorry guys, but there's no way that we'll be able to make it up the rest of this because it gets pretty angled out. So I'll go check, see if we did or did not. And if we did, then I've got another little obstacle that I can show at the Land Cruiser, but that does show you a limitation with this off-road and stock format is the ground clearance. We will be going to the other obstacle. Uh, we did <laughs> end up bogging out a little bit. The overhangs on this car, uh, in the front, it's not too bad. It's the back that's not great. You got the spare tire underneath and it's got a pretty big bumper. Again, that's why everyone does the aftermarket bumpers with it. So yeah, I would have liked to have gone up further, but I also don't want to destroy the mommy mall crawler, literal mommy mall crawler. So uh, that's the thing about this car, the four wheel drive system, and everything that this has going for it will take it places that its ground clearance just can't manage stock. So this is a car that, you know, a lot of cars you lift them and put bigger tires on them so that you can get better grip. This, <laughs> sorry, you lift them to put bigger, bigger tires to get better grip. This, you lift it to, and put bigger tires on it to get more ground clearance. The grip's not a problem. Uh, I bet, I mean, I bet if this even had smaller tires like you know i'm 275 with the width on these i bet if this was even 255 265 it still would be able to go up this no problem because of how good the four-wheel drive system is on it but yeah i mean it's it's going down that just fine that was easy like again not not the most exciting trail on the planet but easy enough for the land cruiser i remember properly this should be a decent not this hill but this should be a decent uh, little incline up here yeah, it's crazy how slow you have to go for that camera it is crazy <laughs> i went over that a little bit too fast but it's okay it happens the suspension handled it quite well okay so this is a pretty decent decline here I don't even know if again this is the thing where I might I might bottom out because of the angles of the Land Cruiser we will have to see we're gonna pop it into manual mode so that we can be in. oh I guess ECT second won't let me can I take it out of ECT second go into first ECT second functions weird. It needs a decent, no slipping at all. I kind of want to go up it, but the problem, I mean, we'll see if we scrape here. Yeah, I should be able to get up and over since we didn't scrape coming down. I should be able to get up it. Um, I guess this is where I'll show you guys the uh, crawl control we haven't used that at all today see how that kind of functions interesting so i think i understand why we'll do ect second again i think i understand why it will start in fourth gear because it this is a pretty powerful car some people might not say that but i mean it's got 381 horsepower 401 pound feet of torque tires are kind of spinning there on the rocks because of how much torque it's putting to the ground so put on crawl control Oh gosh. So this is like the <laughs> yeah, generation that's a little bit noisier with the crawl control. Do I have to go? It's not moving. I'm confused. Do I have to gas it some? weird 
I thought crawl control was supposed to... Either way, it's still smooth. It will do it now for me? No, what the heck? What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's only doing it down? Interesting. I didn't know that on this. So it's more of a hill descent control rather than a... I mean, let me know in the comment section below if I'm using the system. Oh, that's going too fast. <laughs> let me know in the, in the comment section below if I'm using this improperly. But it looks like it's only a downhill, so it's not really a crawl. Well, I... That's weird though, because it shows it going... I must be doing something wrong. I've got to be doing something wrong. <laughs> it's kind of fun though listening to the sounds. That's interesting. Now let's see if I can do the trail turn assist. Turn assist function not available. Check system operation conditions. Okay, we'll turn off ECT second. Maybe that's causing issues. I'm in crawl control. Let's see, maybe a, so center locking differential. Let's turn that off. Why won't it turn off the diff? I'm only showing this in the video because this will give you guys an idea of... Okay, now the diff's blinking, so it should be... Off. Okay, now let's see if it'll let me do... Okay, now trail... So you just can't have the center diff locked. Okay. This sounds horrible. Okay, so... Now what we're going to do is... So it's breaking the one wheel. See how this helps out with turn up oh. gonna turn the crawl control back on speed yeah I would almost rather I mean I can understand like a really tight situation man this system's kind of uh, it's not the worst I'd rather just do it myself It's pretty tight, but okay, we're gonna turn that off now. Okay, we're also gonna turn off crawl control. So <laughs> that was a mess. That was a mess. Um, overall, the Land Cruiser is great off-road. Uh, it's actually really comfortable with the suspension. Uh, it just doesn't have the best angles from from stock. It's got a pretty big overhang with the rear bumper and everything, which definitely gets in the way. So. Uh, I think that what my wife and I kind of use this for is, I, I think, a good, a solid use where it's, uh, ooh, that is a big, don't want to fall down that. Um, anyways, <laughs> what we use it for, right, it's, it's, it's her daily driver. Uh, it's a super reliable car with a lot of uh, power doesn't get the best fuel economy but it's also got a lot of space so it works great for that and then the other use for this is like if we go out in the middle of the desert this is most likely the car that we'll take depending on how rough the train is if it's a really difficult trail probably take uh something else like the grenadier but when i say difficult i'm talking about ground clearance issues but if it's just like going out into the middle of the desert where it's mostly roads like this maybe a little bit of you know climbing here and there yeah this is a super comfortable car uh, and you know you know for a fact that you'll be able to go out and come back because these things are absolute tanks so let me guys think about the 200 series I think it's a great I think it's a great off-roader uh, I think it's just limited by its angles and we saw that today because I bottomed out on a trail that is again not all that difficult just you need some you need some better clearances